Um, yes, a letter was published today. A letter called, it was titled, A Letter on Justice and Open Debate. And it was, it's a letter written by a, a bunch of leftists, mostly leftists, not all leftists. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some names afterwards. Uh, the letter basically says, first paragraph says, you know, yeah, we've got a real moment of trial. There's powerful protests for racial and social justice. They're, they're leading to overnight demand for police reform, wider calls for greater equality, inclusion across our society, higher education, da da dum da da dum So, so uh, you know, kind of saying, look, we agree with the cause, and we don't like Donald Trump, right? So that's paragraph one number one. Paragraph number two is basically, look, it's really, really, really important, though, to have a free exchange of ideas. And we need to have this free exchange of ideas, and it's, and it's unacceptable to have, uh, to, uh, to have this cancel culture where people are, are penalized for having ideas that are different uh, uh, from this. When, and they give examples, editors being fired for controversial pieces, books are withdrawn for alleged inauthenticity, uh, journalists are barred from writing on certain topics, professors are investigated for quoting works of literature in class, a researcher is fired for circulating a peer-reviewed academic. Each one of these is a real occurrence. So they go through all the examples of people being fired and people being harassed and people being, being demoted and destroyed um, because, right, because of their points of view. Um, and they say, this stifling atmosphere will ultimately harm the most vital causes of our time. The restriction on debate, whether by repressive government or an intolerant society, invariably hurts those who lack power and makes everyone less capable of democratic participation. So a little appeal to altruism. Uh, you know, we don't want to defend everybody's right to speak, just the powerless, I guess. The way to defeat bad ideas, and this is good, is by exposure, argument, and persuasion, not by trying to silence or wish them away. We refuse any false choice between justice and freedom which cannot exist without each other. As writers, we need a culture that leaves us room for experimentation, risk-taking, and even mistakes. We need to preserve the possibility of good faith disagreement without dire professional consequences. If we won't defend the very thing on which our work depends, we shouldn't expect the public or state to defend it for us. So, you know, a... a, a um, a decent letter. The beginning, eh, a little too much of the social justice stuff. But the middle paragraph and the final paragraph, good stuff on freedom of speech, basically. And, and the recognition that, that, that even though freedom of speech is not violated technically because it's not the government doing it, an intolerant society, a society of, of canceling, a society of firing people, a society of, of, of silencing people even when it's done voluntarily is wrong, harmful destructive and that's good it's good that they recognize that and it's a list of impressive people so it's good to know that they are people of the left who stand by these words that all is not lost that that um, there are people on the left who are still advocates of free speech, even if they have bad ideas on everything else. Because as long as they're advocates of free speech, we can have a discussion, we can have a debate. They're not silencing. All right, I've had it with this racist, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna silence him one second, everybody. Let me just get rid of him, and then, um, and then we can go on. Um, so it's, it's interesting. So mostly leftist, uh, at least one libertarian, Deidre, Deidre McCluskey from the University of Illinois, Chicago, signed this. At least one conservative, John McWhorter, um, who is a, a black conservative from Columbia University, who's a very thoughtful guy, signed this. Um, uh, and, and, you know, some cultural figures, I don't know what the politics of, Winston Marcellus signed it. But then, shockingly, and this is why I wouldn't have signed it. I mean, there are other things here that, are, that I would have prevented um, um, I would have signed it for other reasons, for good to pro social justice. But, but shockingly, one of the people who signed this is Noam Chomsky. Now, Noam Chomsky 
is an apologist for genocide. He is an apologist for communism, for Pol Pot, for the Khmer Rouge. He holds one of the most evil, disgusting philosophies that exist. He is anti-America, he is anti-West, he is anti-reason, he is he's, he's viciously anti-capitalism. I just have to say, I would never sign a letter if Noam Chomsky was signing it to. I don't care what the topic was. I don't care what the, 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 the benefits of it. He is a despicable human being with whom I would not want to be on the same stage and would not want to be on the same document as implying that we, are, we, are, we respect each other in any kind of way. Uh, Leonidas asked, why is Chomsky evil when he's so pro-free speech? You can be supposedly pro-free speech, although I, I, I doubt that in, in regimes that Chomsky has supported from Chavez in Venezuela to Pol Pot in Cambodia, there was no free speech. And he supported those regimes. So his support of, 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 of free speech is completely two-faced. It is not real. It is not authentic. He doesn't like, I think he doesn't like the focus on race that the new left has. I think that's his problem. I don't think he's pro-free speech. I don't think he believes in free speech. Throughout his career, he hasn't believed in free speech. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I don't believe, I don't believe uh, his signature on this. It, it means nothing. He is beneath contempt, beneath contempt. But let's, let me give you some other people who signed this. A Ann Applebaum, um, Margaret Atwood, both known leftists, uh, Roger Bookworth from Bard University, also on the left. Um, I mean, I'm, I see most of these. David Brooks, who is considered a conservative or, you know, at some point neoconservative, uh, signed this. Uh, let's see, Nicholas Christakis who, uh, from Yale University. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, who else you might know? Uh, ch -ch -ch Richard Ford from Stanford Law School. David Fum, another kind of conservative. Francis Fukuyama, who's kind of on the left. Um, Malcolm Gladwell, the famous author, signed this. Good for him. Uh, are they, again, I wouldn't have signed it. Uh, uh, Jonathan Haidt, uh, NYU Stern, who's kind of a centrist, veering to the left. Uh, these are better people. These, these, you know, some of them, not all of them, but some of them are better people. Certainly, uh, certainly uh, Jonathan Haidt is, is one of the better leftists, old-style old liberals. Um, you know, Steven Pinker signed it. Um, let's see. As I said, Dita McCluskey, she's completely... It's weird that she's there because she's, she's a real libertarian. Um, let's see. Yeah, a bunch of people you'd probably recognize uh, from the news uh, or from nah. Jonathan Rausch, uh, who's from the Atlantic Magazine and, and the Brookings Institute. Again, one of the more rational left. Oh, J.K. Rollins signed it. J.K. Rollins, who has been... There's been an attempt to cancel J.K. Rollins for a position on, uh, on transgender. Solomon Rushdie, a real hero, in my view, who stood up to the Islamists, uh, and, and there was a fa famous fatwa against him, uh, signed it. Uh, and let's see. So anyway, uh, an interesting Gloria Steinem, the, the feminist, um, uh, Kathy Young, Again, more of a libertarian. Michael Walter. Michael Walter is a just war theory professor. He teaches just war theory, I think, at West Point. I hate just war theory. But he signed this uh, to his credit. And uh, Matthew, uh, Emily Jeffy, Farid uh, Zac uh, Zakaria, who's, who's a commentator on the news, and, and so on. So um, good for them. It's good to know uh, the people who are willing to sign it, even though... 
most of them I disagree vehemently on, on much or pretty much everything. Um, but it's good to see. Uh, we saw, you know, a couple of years ago or three years ago when there was all the stuff on campuses, uh, the attempt to uh, silence people on campuses. There was a letter, similar letter, signed by most of the leftist professors uh, around free speech. I actually thought it was a little better than this one. Uh, so once in a while you see uh, something like this. The question is, would they have written a letter if the only people being canceled were, f uh, you know, from the right? So all these people are, are, are signing a letter against having leftists cancel other leftists for the most part. Because most of the canceling that's going on right now is of leftists by leftists. So I'm a little skeptical of whether they would be defending um, Charles Murray or somebody like that speaking on campuses, it's much easier to defend uh, J.K. Rollins, who is one of them, if you will. Okay. They signed a letter against cancel culture. They signed a letter pro-free speech. Pro-free speech. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, yourronbrookshow. And, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...